Today on Made for Glory, we're going to talk about whether you can be Catholic and a Freemason. Check it out. So can someone be a Catholic and a Mason? Because most people, when they think of the Freemasons, they think of the local Shriners Club or the local Elks Club, um, usually older gentlemen who uh, like to get together, maybe smoke a cigar, maybe do some, some good works out in the community, maybe support Shriners Hospital. And so most people would say there, there's no problem. They can do that and also be members of the Catholic Church. Um, but the Catholic Church has, for the past couple of centuries, been consistent in warning its members from, from being a part of the Masons. And, and the reason for that is because the foundation of the Freemasons is basically a naturalistic religion. Obviously, it's a secret society, and that we always kind of might maybe struggle with that, with a secret society. Um, but really, at, at its core, being a, a, an institution that has a deistic, naturalistic religion. So Catholics would have a totally different understanding of God than the understanding of God that's put forward in the ceremonies of Freemason rites and activities, um, whether that be just uh, the opening of a meeting or even something like a funeral, that because we as Catholics don't believe in a deistic God, a God that is far away from us, a God that is not personally involved in his creation. We believe in a personal God. And so when we say um, with our lips something different than that, that's why members of the church are cautioned to not be a part of, of any Freemason association. Recently, the church um, kind of reiterated that, that teaching, saying the faithful who enroll and Masonic associations are in a state of grave sin and may not receive Holy Communion. Now, that's kind of a big deal. And I think what the church is trying to show each one of us is not just to condemn people who uh, enjoy being a, a part of a Freemason uh, society or association, but to recognize for them and for every single one of us that we are called to be in a relationship with God that is deeply personal. And so to end that membership with those institutions, not the friendships, if you have good friendships there, but to end that membership so that you can enter deeply into that relationship with God that he desires to have with you in and through the church that he founded. So just a word of encouragement, even if, if you are a, a Freemason, to know that God still loves you and has a plan for you, and just an invitation maybe to re-examine those beliefs and whether this invitation to be a part of the Catholic Church is something that you think is worthy of pursuing. God bless you all and have a beautiful day. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video and for joining us each week as we release new Made for Glories that help to answer the questions that people have about God and faith and life and church. And if you wanna help support us, please make sure you click that like button, make sure you share it with your friends and also to click the link in the description um, that will make you a part of our mailing list so that we can keep you informed about what we're doing each week and also send you content um, so that you can receive it even before the rest of the internet gets it. So God bless you and have a great day.